And I looked into it and uh, discovered that there are 650 cities throughout the country that have done In God We Trust in their chambers, 131 in the state of California, uh, seven in Fresno County have done it. And if we do it today, uh, Fresno would be the latest in the large city to adopt our national motto. In God We Trust, let me, let me say a couple things. You know, Thomas Jefferson talked about a creator in the Declaration of Independence. He said, we have inalienable rights given to us by our creator. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And when he said creator, for me, I think he was talking about, about God. And in the Star Spangled Banner in 1812, they allude to In God We Trust. Uh, it's been on our coins since 1864, 1956. President Eisenhower assigned into law that In God We Trust was our national motto. And in 2011, the House of Representatives, if they can agree on anything, we know they all can't agree on something, but only nine people voted against reaffirming our national motto in this country. 396 representatives adopted it. In God We Trust is simply about faith, values, and patriotism. It is not choosing one religion over another. I would never support that. I don't think anybody up here would support that. It's about our heritage. And I want to read, you, read to you what President John F. Kennedy said in 1961 at a prayer breakfast. He said, no man who enters upon the office to which I have succeeded can fail to recognize how every president of the United States has placed special reliance upon his faith in God. While they came from a variety of religious backgrounds and held a wide variety of religious beliefs, each of our presidents in his own way has placed a special trust in God. He went on to say, faith is more powerful than doubt, that hope is more potent than despair. And he concluded his comments at this prayer breakfast by saying, the guiding principle and prayer of this nation has been, is now, and ever shall be, in God we trust. Now people challenge and have challenged our national motto. And it's been decided in the courts over and over, from the Supreme Court to the Court of Appeals. And they have said, quote, it is quite obvious that the national motto and the slogan on coinage and currency in God we trust has nothing whatsoever to do with the establishment of religion. Its use is of a patriotic or ceremonial character and bears no true resemblance to a governmental sponsorship of a religious exercise. While ceremonial and patriotic may not be particularly apt words to describe the category of the national motto, it is excluded from the First Amendment significance because the motto has no theological or ritualistic impact. As stated by the Congressional Report, it has spiritual and psychological value and inspirational quality. The Supreme Court noted that the national motto does not violate the establishment cause. Another legal case said the proposition that government may not communicate an endorsement of religious belief is not violated by the national motto. Now, people have said we shouldn't do this because the, the city will be sued. And again, as I've said, this has been decided in the courts over and over that the national motto does not violate your right to have faith, to believe in God, because it doesn't promote religion. And if we adopt it in our chambers, it will not promote any religion. It does not say in Christianity we trust. It does not say in Judaism we trust. It does not say in Islam we trust. It says in God we trust. And that means a lot of things to different people. Now some have said we shouldn't do this because we may get sued. Well I want to tell you that there is an organization called the Pacific Justice Institute that spoke before the Court of Appeals, have been very involved in winning these issues before courts and have said and sent us a letter and said they routinely provide counsel to elected officials and city attorneys on issues involving invocations at governmental meetings of artwork such as the display of the national motto in council chambers. And in their legal analysis they summarized by saying in sum the constitutionality of the national motto has been established in this ju jurisdiction as well as every court across the country which has had occasion to rule on this matter. If this city council passes the proposed resolution and we are sued, they will represent the city for $1. So the whole issue about fear of being sued, 
I think goes away with that. I don't think there's anybody that would want, we would want better representation than the Pacific Justice Institute. Now, I want to say a couple other things too. I have been very criticized for my comments saying that this is about faith, values, and patriotism. In fact, we received a letter from the Central Valley Alliance of Atheists and Skeptics. And they quoted a YouTube video that I put out. And the quotes that I said, which are true, I said it's about faith. It's about faith in God. It's about patriotism. It's about making sure we're always reminded in the people's chamber that we consider God and those values when we're making important decisions affecting this city. In God we trust is about faith. I don't think we can dispute that. The more we've gotten away from God and faith and values, the more our country and society have slipped backwards. The point I'm making is that the more we think about things larger than ourselves, the more we incorporate faith and consider God, I personally believe the better all of us who are in positions of leadership and responsibility will make decisions that affect our community. Now that is, that is my quote, and I don't back down from it. Uh, I think that all of us should, if you are a believer and you have faith in God, shouldn't be ashamed of it, and because there is a, a vocal minority that want to take God out of our beliefs, we shouldn't be silent about that. And in God we trust simply is about faith, values, and patriotism. And I think for too long, I think, I think for too long, I think for too long, the silent majority has allowed the vocal minority to silence them. And I, and I want to share with you a letter that we just received a little while ago, and I think it sums it up. It said, oh my God, literally, from a constituent, it's frightening that the councilman is on the receiving end of the hateful rhetoric from the community. And it's become frightening for all of us to feel free to voice our opinions in this city, state, and country. I think that needs to change. Now, the arguments against putting in God we trust our national motto on the wall, as 650 other cities have done, 131 cities in California, is that it's promoting religion. I think it's clear it's not promoting any religion. I don't support that, and I never would. They say we should be working on important issues, more important issues than this. Well, let me tell you something. We spent all morning. Here was our agenda, OK? And we talked about roads, public safety, contracts, police, a myriad of things you can't even imagine. And we do it every day. They're not mutually exclusive. That's a bogus argument. We shouldn't be spending any taxpayer money. We're not going to. It's privately funded. The video I did is privately funded. And already, I've had two or three people who say, if you put this up, if this is adopted, I will pay for it. So no taxpayer money. And I want to say something. I want to say, you know, every council meeting, including today, we have a representative from the faith community. And we all invite them every week. And they come, and you know what they pray for? They pray for us to have wisdom, to have faith through God, that we make solid decisions on behalf of all of these people, all of the people that are not here. And sometimes they mention their religion, and sometimes they don't. And we all stand, and I see all of us stand up and we pray. And I see people in the audience, and some stand up and pray, and some don't. And then we pledge that allegiance to that flag. And some stand up out there, and some don't. And because some don't, does that mean we should take down our flag? Should we take this flag down because they may be offended by that? I think not. And should we not have prayer because some people object to it? Well, since I've been here, we have prayer every Thursday morning. And people always pray. I pray for faith. I pray for wisdom in these folks. I pray that God directs them to make good decisions for us. So I hope today that this council sends out a very strong, unifying message. It's not a divisive message to say in God we trust. To Fresno, to the Central Valley, that Fresno loves its country, 
that there are faithful people, and not everybody is. We're all inclusive, whether you believe the same way or not. That's the beauty of our country. That's the beauty of this country. We can be different. We don't have to believe alike. But there are plenty of people who do believe and are faithful and love our country and have solid values and are patriotic. And in God we trust is what that represents. So I hope that's what we see after we get this adopted. So with that, I'd like to make the motion to approve the resolution. Council member, I'll second your motion. I happen to think our country is the most divided it's ever been in my lifetime. And you have an opportunity right now to fall in line with that great lineage of making the statement, in God we trust, not as a divisive uh, thing, but as a unifying thing, as a unifying power as it's always been in the history of this country. So, as the many pray for you every time you open uh, the council meeting, I pray for you, that wisdom for you all again today to do the right thing. God bless you. Greetings, council members. I'm delighted to be here. Um, my name is Jackie Sullivan. I am the longest serving city council member in Bakersfield history, just reelected for another four year term. Thank you. I'm a patriot. I love God, I love country. And I know that's why my constituents have the confidence in me that they do. But I am here from Bakersfield and the hat that I'm wearing tonight is I am the founder of In God We Trust America. So thank you for inviting me, Gary. Thank you, I'm delighted to be here. I believe in electing people that have a strong faith in God. And Gary, I, I have loved listening to your words. You are a true patriot, I'm proud of you. We need many of you in every city and county in our, our country. I ran against Gary Bredefeld for that seat that he's sitting in right now. But today I come not as an opponent, but as his ally. First, let me say that this entire debate is a real head shaker for me. The way some people are acting, you would think we were installing a crucifix up there. <laughs> How something this simple, our national motto, can turn into a major controversy is just unbelievable. Remember, in God we trust, was reaffirmed, as former Mayor Autry mentioned and lots of other folks, in a vote of 396 to 9, when you've got the most Conservative members of Congress and Nancy Pelosi coming together, you've got bipartisanship, and this has it. I want to be one of the first private contributors to this if it is passed, and I will give the national motto on a $20 bill to Pastor Franklin because I know that he will Thank give you. it to you. Thank you very much. 